A listening partnership works like this. Two parents who are not in the same family agree to exchange listening time. Listening partnerships can be in person or by phone or Skype. First, figure out how much listening time you have time for. Next, decide who will be listened to first. Then set a timer. Oh, it can be helpful to have tissues handy. When you are the listener, you really listen. Not just with your ears, you feel into your partner's experience with all your senses. It might be helpful to think of it as listening from the heart. When you listen, you are helping your partner feel felt. Remember not to give advice or fix it. Trust in your partner's wisdom. Suspend judgment. This is your partner's chance to air even the messy stuff in safety. Keep it confidential. Don't repeat what you hear to anyone else and don't bring the content up with your listening partner outside of listening time. Remember, your warm, caring attention is a valuable gift that is rewiring your partner's brain. Trust in your listening partner's tremendous intelligence. Her or his brain will serve up whatever needs attention. When the timer goes off, ask your partner a little silly question, a palate cleanser for the mind. Then switch. It's the second partner's turn to share. Set the timer again. When it's your turn to be listened to, you can share whatever you're thinking or feeling. You don't have to try to be interesting, funny, or profound. This time is all for you. If you don't know where to begin, just share something that's going well or something that's been hard. You can talk about parenting, but you don't have to. Things that can be useful to do in listening time, you can say everything you feel like saying to your child. You could also use your time to remember what life was like for you when you were the age your child is now. Remember, all feelings are welcome in listening time. You don't have to be reasonable. Listening partnerships for parents. You deserve it.